Oh, got him. First wicket down. Once again, Murli Vijay, once again, Mitch Stark. I thought he started really well today and it has continued on now. I just said on, on commentary then that it looks like he's in better rhythm today than he has been, certainly was in Adelaide. I mean, the thing that struck me most about Adelaide is that he started the game well and then for some reason it looked like it just went downhill from there. But no, it looks spot on today. He used the new ball well. Uh, got Murli Vijay with a, with a beauty back through the gate, which is what we sort of expect from him with the new ball. And... Um, so far, his rhythms look really good. His pace has been up. I think last last spell there is in sort of one mid 140s. So some really good positive signs from him. What's it like having command of a player as captain that can break those partnerships? He might not be the most consistent bowler, but he's got that wicket taking ability. No, he has. I mean, you look back to Adelaide as it was. Everyone criticised him down there, but he walks away from the Test match with five wickets. Oh, is that an edge? It is. Perfect response from Mitchell Stark. Thank you very much. You know, that's just the sort of bowler he is, and I think that's what everyone just has to accept about him. He's not going to be brilliant every day, but when he is, he's going to take wickets for you. And I mean, even he takes wickets without being at his absolute best. So, uh, what he does though is complements the others really well. You know, with with Cummins and, and Hazelwood doing what they do, and Nathan Lyon always bowling tight, it gives you the flexibility as a captain just to to go to someone like Mitchell Stark when you need to break through. And look, he's done that for Australia for a number of years, and will continue to do so. Big York. Talking about guys with great strike rates, Mitchell Sark's got the best for an Australian with more than 100 wickets. But you captain like eight of the top ten. Um, what's it like having a, a bowler with such a, an impactful strike rate that can crack the game wide open? Oh, I, I obviously made all the records for those guys as captain. Had nothing to do with the bowlers. Um, I didn't even know that. You know, I had no idea about the strike rates of some of those guys. But I mean, I look back to. The guys that I, I was lucky enough to captain, I had some of the, the all-time greats, and for Stark to be at the top of that list just goes to show how valuable he is to Australian cricket and the Australian cricket team. You know, he's a wicket-taking machine. We say that all the time. And I think, you know, the thing that, the reason that he sometimes creates some criticism is because everyone can see just how good he can be. But people shouldn't expect that he's going to be at his absolute best every day. It's very rare for anyone to be at their best day in and day out. So, uh, but when he is, as you say, with that record he's got, he's, he's pretty damaging.